Now that Xbox game streaming is everywhere, Microsoft has some new tech to make it even better. Microsoft loves to talk about Xbox game streaming. The company is bringing it everywhere. Earlier this month, they announced that they're bringing it to the TV. A Samsung TV specifically, not this Samsung TV, but the new Samsung TVs. You'll be able to stream games directly from xCloud right to your TV, no console required. And that's a pretty big deal. And it sort of completes the, the initial vision, if you will, of where Xbox streaming should land on basically anything with a screen. And so today, or I should say this week, Microsoft Microsoft has announced some new technology that is going to pretty significantly reduce the latency, which is, if you're not familiar with latency, it's when you press the A button to how quickly it happens on screen. So this week, Microsoft started to show off direct capture. Now, this eliminates a whole bunch of waiting that we had typically seen in the display pipeline from game streaming. Now, this was during a technical discussion during XFest, and so we actually have a video demo here that kind of shows what it looks like when you actually remove some of these delays in the pipeline. So that is what this demo is. Now, it does not loop, but I will kind of walk through it here. So what you are seeing in the top left corner, that is HDMI, meaning console HDMI TV. On the top right corner, this is Xbox Cloud Game Streaming using the new Direct Capture technology. And in the bottom is the older Xbox Game Streaming technology. Now, that little sort of looking pegboard thing down there is actually a representation of input on a controller. You will see a green light on the far bottom right corner, and that is the user pressing the A button. Now, what you're looking for is that red circle, the crosshairs in the middle to turn red because that is the game streaming or the game recognizing the console, I should say, recognizing that an input has arrived and that it needs to perform a function, in this case, A being shoot, or to turn the crosshairs red. So uh, just watch this video again, and you can see in the top left corner it turns red, top right corner turns red really quickly after it, and then the bottom left, you can see the actual latency here. And so this is the technology that Microsoft is introducing to cloud streaming to make the latency even better. And you can see that the input uh, latency here is pretty, it's pretty well improved. And Microsoft's pretty proud of this technology, and it's only gonna make their cloud gaming streaming service even better. I mean, it, like the, the images speak for itself, which is the best part of this demo. Now, it's obviously not as perfect as the HDMI local input, and it honestly never will be. And also, you got to keep in mind that things like latency, your own home network, Wi-Fi versus wire connectivity are all going to factor into it. And I suspect what we're looking at here is the best case scenario. This is the absolute best case scenario. But even so, knowing that this can be the actual best case scenario means that it's technically possible to get this into your home, depending again on a whole bunch of factors. But like I said, it's a big step in the right direction. You can actually see how fast it actually is in this demo. I mean, it's it's basically right there. And so make sure you're, again, looking at the green light versus the red crosshair because that shows you how quickly it is actually changing. Don't compare crosshair to crosshair to crosshair. You got to be looking at uh, the green light to the red. Either way, that is a pretty big deal for Xbox Cloud Streaming, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this all plays out and how it shapes the narrative, because up until this point, a lot of people will say Stadia actually has better latency and responsive time, and they very well might, because their controller, which I always look around for, oh, it's right here, connects directly to your Wi-Fi's. It doesn't go, or connects directly to their servers. It's, it's not going through a console, it's not going through anything else. Microsoft does not do that yet, but I'm hoping that they eventually will, and that will again, narrow that gap. Either way, it's good news for Xbox Cloud Game Streaming. The whole streaming platform is getting just a little bit better, and it's gonna make your life just a little bit more enjoyable. And as always, if you wanna keep updated on everything happening in the world of Xbox, make sure to keep it subscribed here, because the only BS on this channel is me.